motherfucking bunny. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's popping. We found it, bro. That's what's fucking it. Yo, it's Jungle Beats, and we are in here doing episode five of Rick and Morty discussing the. Uh, we're the home to the 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 most silliest, stupidest, nonsense Rick and Morty discussions on the planet. You motherfucking know it. And we're going here a Morty can. Grick. Fitty is episode five. Damn, oh. I don't. I remember, I remember watching this, but I haven't watched it since it came out. So, well, it's well, good. My memory's good. let's remind you this was more focused on Jerry. Mm. Yeah, I remember. I remember enjoying this one. Well, you see, I didn't really like it. You didn't like it? All right, well, let's, uh, let's let me take my shades off for this one. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I want to take my shades off as well. What the, what the, what the fuck? Man? You click none, top left hand corner. I didn't really like it. <laughs> um, it, it was wasn't as interesting to me. It didn't capture me as much. But you know what? According to this episode, if I didn't like it, that probably means I liked it. Does that make sense? Because in in this episode. It was the opposite. Like these creatures loved pain and oh, suffering. Oh, yeah, true, true. Oh, the demons. Oh, no, I love this episode. This is the one with the demons. The demons. Yeah, this is great. This is a good ass episode. They uh, were great cool, characters. Cool. They were great characters. But we start off with this guy called Bruce Chuckback. Yeah, Bruce, who, who's Bruce Chuckback? Bruce, Bruce Chuckback's coming over. Bruce Chuckback. And Summer and Morty. Jeez, I like that big old water glass you got there, son. So it's clear Morty wants to be friends with him because he's like obviously new and is good looking and it will make him popular, I think he feels. And then Summer obviously wants to spend time with him because he's really attractive, also new kid, and she could potentially like, you know, hook up with him. That's right. So they want to work together to impress this brute chop back. And I think it's yeah, also... They work together because... Go ahead, son. Oh. Well, go. Speak. What's up? Well, I, I, I finished speaking. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, my bad. Maybe we just got a delay. My bad. Um, oh, you have to like it or you're sexist because she farts. <laughs> so, it's kind of like reminiscent of like trying to impress the cool kid at the school, right? Yeah, definitely. And then I we... Mean, did you ever did you ever have that at school? Was there ever moments where wait, were you cool or were you not cool? Or were you in between? I would say during high school, I, I wasn't, man. I wasn't. I was uh mm. I was the guy who wasn't very skilled, talented at anything. He didn't have a point of difference. He was I was average. I was below average. I was mediocre. Uh and, and so I was the butt of many jokes. I took myself too seriously. So no, man. I was probably on the uncool side. You, you were uncool, man. I was, I was in the middle. I was neither cool, but I was neither uncool. Well, but uh, did, was there was there ever ever any moments where you had those like say what Rick and Morty going through, where you had the opportunity to speak to someone of a more say popular status? Yeah, and maybe for sure. And you act a bit different because it's just like you know, it's not something that you'd be used to. It's 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 interesting seeing. You manipulate your behavior to try and impress people. Yeah. Hopefully, it's something that dies out the more that, you know, we live on. Because that whole stuff in school is just not cool. <laughs> it's You're trying to be cool, but it's not cool. It's not cool. It's to- not cool. I feel like you should be taught to just treat everyone the same and to just like... And I think teachers should force students to just like, you know, spend time with students they don't spend time with so they can understand them. Understand different just people, different them. cultures, different behaviors. I think it's, yeah, I think it's stupid for people to spend the same day every day with the same people at that age. I think you should spend time with everybody. It's, that's just how I feel. I feel you, man, because then, then discrimination becomes, uh, I believe, less prevalent because you yeah. get to understand other people's perspective. Hmm, definitely. So let's move on from yeah, the philosophy. Little- uh, the portal. This is the first time I've seen the portal. Portal gun's back. Yes, yes. Okay. Only for a brief Notice moment. Something. Yeah. But then Jerry, like, has his own. And he summons this thing. <laughs> and then this, this guy appears. Oh, my God. I love these characters so much. So, c- let's just credit that these character designs are phenomenal. I had to pause it here, like you're pausing right now, to look at all the details. And all. Like, this guy's got, like, a tongue... 
coming out of him. This guy's got like things attached to his nipples and a computer in his head. And this guy's injecting shit into his neck, but he and then this guy's just I don't know. It's it, all of it's amazing. Absolutely. Like it's so good. It is exquisite. Yes, that is. Because uh, they Jerry. Love pain. Yes. They're wired backwards. And the hilarious thing is that I didn't realize until later. Like, look at that. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> the hilarious thing is Jerry is obviously so painful to be around. Oh, so cringe. So normy. That they they get off over it because they they're wired opposite. So they, they they get so much pleasure, unlike anything else they've ever felt, because of how lame and cringe Jerry is. Which is I think amazing. I think it's a cool plot for this episode. Absolutely. Uh, and what then enters like a comic book style. Yeah, and look at him. He looks cool. He's got the he's got the you know he has the no facial expression. He's not giving away anything. He's acting super cool, like you know. And you think, well, Bruce Trapback's certainly going to be impressed by some interdimensional cable. Come on, who's got that? <laughs> and I know you wanted to see more of this. I do. Every time I see little snippets of interdimensional cable, I'm just hoping it's a full episode because I, I just love that shit. So, obviously, they're going to impress him with the spaceship, right? Oh, yeah. I didn't expect the, the spaceship to have a bit more of a, a major role in this episode because the last time it did was the Keep Summer Safe episode, so they brought that character back. Well, they yeah, exactly. They kind of they kind of brought a story, a bit of a, like a Jarvis, you know, Iron Man type consciousness to her. Yeah, which I'm about because a lot of, you know, sci- science fiction shows, like there's always, well, not always, but a lot of the time there's a a spaceship with a with an artificial intelligence or just like a voice and i think it's a you know it's a good character to have in a in science fiction agreed amnesty or cartoon yeah it gives some dynamicness to it yeah. i love how there's just these normal people playing as well that are like that are enjoying it too so the demons are getting off over jerry but then there's all these also these other normal people i'm like are these people just like jerry too are they like other types of jerry I do, yeah that's funny maybe I, that's how I see it. Uh, and then, the, you know, that snip. If you look away from the screen just for a second, which I did, you'll miss the scene, which is from the, the, the intro. Oh, oh, that's right. When Summer's hitting the things. That's right. Yeah. So, look, it does not last long. Yeah. That's it. And so, Beth finds... Oh, I think, this, again, this is really beautiful what they did here. Um, like, uh, almost like animation cinematics making... Yeah. And Mark Chopback still with the same face, not impressed yet. Classic new kid. Can we can we draw some attention to some of these other characters here on the screen? Oh, I love this guy with the coat hanger with his eyes dangling off them and his lips pulled apart by other coat hangers which are attached to his shoulders. And then he's got like things coming out of his nipples. Like what the fuck? I, it's, it's so good. That's unreal. That's it's, it's amazing, man. Like how much pain that guy must be in. He must be so pleasured right now. <laughs> It's and maybe it's a bit of a reflection of society because we, we seek a lot of pleasure in society, but we have food, sex, entertainment, drugs, addiction, and their their version of it is is pleasure. And I think it's a bit of a reflection of maybe a mirror opposite visually of what some of like to seek pleasure and be a hedonist your whole life, like Futurama style, eating grapes all day. Maybe this is what internally we would look like how we feel is this how externally it could look like does that make sense yeah it does it's just like you could you know the stuff that you do in your own life like if it was portrayed in a manner like this then you know a lot of people are very ugly on the inside right and so clearly this is a could be a depiction of that (laughs) oh i love how the ship's just like just in control pretty much Oh, not yet. Right now, they not think yet, they're right. in control, right? They're taking Bruce on. Oh, oh now, oh, now yeah. the ship's in control. Yeah, it's just like, I want to go kill some fucking boss. Yeah. It takes on like a fucking god or a titan. It looks like Galactus. So, and then that that's it. just like a, a side of like, they just like killed like a space god. Oh, I think that is actually a plan well. So the way that you see those, those golden ear things on that big helmet of it, mm. It's very similar to a Marvel character called Galactus, who is the strongest villain in all of Marvel. Some people would say because because like he kills universes. Whoa! He's like he eats them up. So, do you think that's going to be future movies? Yes, definitely. I oh, know we've only dope. seen it in we've only seen Galactus in Guardians of the Galaxy. When it was uh, Dormammu. 
Dormammu, I think, is the same sort of character. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, actually, maybe they're separate. Dormammu? Which one's Dormammu? In the, in the very first Guardians of the Galaxy, like, Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Was that Guardians of the Galaxy? I was thought that, that was, Doctor um, Strange? yeah. I thought it was Doctor oh, sorry, Strange. Sorry, it's Doctor Strange. Oh, sorry, it's Doctor Strange, yeah. I'm pretty sure. But either way, but the, the way they've depicted this Titan God like character, it's just oh. basically saying that the ship's so, as strong as Rick. It's just gone to fight like the strongest being in existence and just casually just defeating it. So, Dumamu's an example of one of these creatures? Yeah. Or the Galactus. Wow. Oh, and you get these like transformer type characters, uh, and they make them super douchey, which I love because ah, uh, just I, I'm not big on transformers. I don't, I didn't really enjoy many of the movies. Yeah, but shout out to Megan Fox. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. I mean, no, that's just all right. She's very actually, yeah. Shout but that out to Megan Fox that cool. version, not not current modern plastic surgery dot com Megan Fox. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I get why, but like, she was so good as she was. I think a lot of women, a lot of men, a lot of people are, yet we we, we look for external, uh, we, we almost get like uh, tricked into materialism, superficiality, that is always mm -hmm. better to, to constantly manipulate, like these guys. Let's put coat hangers on our bodies. Let's inject uh, <laughs> fat into our tissue. It's, it's great. I love these characters. Uh, and then Beth eats into it. Oh yeah, she she she's right in there. And then and now Jer Jerry uh, oh, finds out. Let's let's read on what's on the walls here. Hail Satan! I like fleece. No more power ballads. Uh, that's not that funny. <laughs> so he's just got forks in his eyeballs. <laughs> the fuck. So then Jerry realizes he's at the butt of the jokes, and she's uh. She's made it look now like... the ship wants to get laid, so yeah. she's going to meet up with these Transformers. That's right. And then they're all thinking it's going so good, but then it just becomes not so good. And, and she, she burns them all. decides to just kill everything. <laughs> you know how it is. But then now now the jig's up, right? Mm-hmm. That Because... Uh, and they quickly, very quickly, decide to massacre the entire... Bar. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they're fucking demons. Why not? Jerry was keeping everything at peace, but uh, yeah. And now the spaceship has become a war machine to kill everything because she got her heart broken. <laughs> Just really like a lot of the colors on this are great. Very dynamic. Oh yeah. And then has anyone seen my show? <laughs> the, the, they look they look like costumes out of a out of a Halloween party. Oh yeah, I, I love this the new, the new thing that comes up where they have to do like the reverse of words things. We're like, oh, it's this. Oh, like I think that was a really cool gag that they had going the high. And it gets to the point where Rick's just like, uh, fuck it, I don't care anymore. Oh, this part is obviously just gave up on. Yeah. Th this part here, it's, it's very good. Yeah. They try to like uh cycle this guy coming up, yeah. I don't mean to cause you pleasure, which causes me pain, which gives me pleasure. The thrill. Yeah. Me but keeping me out. <laughs> it's so good. If we offend you, is that good? So painful, therefore so pleasurable. And then they come in. And can we <laughs> let's take a second to appreciate He's that oh. Rick has a hole in his in his abdomen. Uh Beth's outfit yeah. is Amazing. The marlin is it a marlin? There you go. Yeah, they're looking good. Yeah, definitely a marlin or a sailfish. It looks like a marlin. <laughs> and then there's this guy who's like the master of hell, I guess. But <laughs> he's just pulled the skin on his on his whole body mm. in just weird directions. I'm, I'm glad you're so pointing. I'm, pain, so he's loving it. I'm glad you're pointing it out. Wow. <laughs> like this oh. And this the whole reason he's in here is because they he just look ridiculous. I love it. That this right here? Yeah, that that should be the should that be the thumbnail? Yeah. That could be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> it's pretty good. If you see a better one, let me know. 
<laughs> I love the way Rick's just looking at Jerry like, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> when Rick's the one that got him into it in the first place. Well, you know why? Because of these things, the, the, the hooks. He sold these demon people faulty yeah. hooks. <laughs> Which is a good thing. This poor guard. This guard's just trying to do everything right, you know? <laughs> it's like their math class. Pain, pleasure, more pleasure, more pain. Yeah, like that's the bit where he's just like, screw it. He's just like, I'm over this fucking gag. Uh, a new character here with this kind of furball looking jacked, yoked, thick old Ooh. security guard. And I thought this was just some alien creature, but it was actually the spaceship. Hmm. And there's a bit of a test of morality here. They could have uh, used Chuck back. Yeah, they could have just used Chuck back and he could have just stayed in prison. They could have gone back to Earth and no one would have known. And exactly. everything would have been fine. But they're just like, nah, 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 nah. We want... We want to fucking be in with his cool kids, so we'll have his back. <clears throat> but I think there's also some morality there. There's there's some uh, yeah ethics that they're not completely off the rails, Rick, yet. Abandon yeah. everybody. But if he wasn't the cool kid, would have it been the same? That's the that's a question. It's a question. So this spaceship is incredibly powerful. I don't know if there's any more colors they could have used right here for their lasers. <laughs> And Rick, I feel like this is one of the first episodes where Rick has actually kind of gotten hands-on to solve a problem in this season, to use his intellectual ability. Yeah. Because previously... Exactly, yeah, he did. yeah, you get to see Rick a little bit back in control here. He's just like, well, I'm going to do this in a way which is like the easiest way to solve it. Like, Because who would think to do what he's doing now by reversing the way they feel things? No mm. one would think about that besides Rick. He thinks really outside the box. And he doesn't. He doesn't in a way where he doesn't have to kill them. They just, you know, I love. I just love how much they just basically shit on like <laughs> just demons because you know demons normally look really fucking mean or scary or hideous, but these look just stupid, which I love. <laughs> but if you if you animated them in real life, like if you saw a real life version of these, you'd be freaked. I mean, wouldn't oh, you yeah, be freaked out? Oh yeah, you'd be freaked out, out as fuck. But, like they just make it so they look dumb, which is just paying out religion. And also making the portal look like a vagina. Where is <laughs> Great pickup. That is, that is, look at it. The That's phenomenal. Literus, bro. <laughs> Dude. Did you just realize that? Or did you see that before? Bro, I see pussy everywhere I go. <laughs> Dude, that is you a. You can't tell me that isn't a pussy. No, it is. I, I You just, you look yeah. at it for a second. You're like, oh, it's a flame. Whatever. Cool. But it's, oh, that is perfect. Yeah. Basically, just saying that hell's just full of pussies. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a, a uh, bit of a connection here, like uh, Rick admitting some of his fault uh, in a second. I don't know if that was the moment. Let's have a look. So they right can't. They're home. Is that a skull? No, it's a baby <laughs> skull. That's worse. And the parents never knew. Yeah, so uh, then it's a bit of a window into how some of these these kids function. Like, they can't commit to a friendship for a long period of time because of whatever commitment issues. They care about social hierarchies within schools and they do everything they can to stay at the top of it by manipulating people. Mm. And, uh, oh, wow, that's, that's it. He's out. Bruce is out. <laughs> Bruce but, is out. But Bruce thinks... But will we see Bruce again? I, I think we think, will. I don't think we'll see Bruce again. I, I, think, we'll I think we'll see... We'll see what? I think... I think we'll see him again, but I think, yeah, it'll be in a similar... See, look here, you see him with all the cool kids. Oh, wait, I didn't see this part of the episode. Oh, you didn't? 
I didn't watch the end of this. Okay. So they're like pointing him out. Wait, didn't you wear those pants yesterday? Right? And he wore those pants yesterday because he was with Rick, uh, with Summer and Morty, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then... And he's instantly just not cool because of it. That's another way of just like... A cool way of describing just how cool kids can just pick on people for the stupidest things. Because right. it's true. A lot of the people I went to school with who had very poor parents who didn't have many clothes, they'd get picked on for fucking so much. And they probably have mental health issues to this day because of it. Because of people just, you know, not being aware of their, their circumstances or being aware of it and making an advantage for themselves on it. It's fucked up. Well, we... <laughs> I think uh, the materialist materialistic society we live in promotes that the media, advertising, mm. the culture. Like but maybe, mm. maybe what? Oh, well, maybe now that like he's been like out outcasted by the actual cool kids, he'll 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 be friends with Summer and Morty. Or maybe they don't want to get to know him either because he's got. Yeah, I didn't see this bit. Yeah, then they start. Bruce Chop Pants is now his name. He skips his pants. He likes slacks. And then. And them's the facts. Bruce Chop Pats. And then. all of, You remember these mailbox guys? Yeah. They start They start beating on Bruce Chuck's Chop Back. <laughs> you should be standing on the curb. Boom, bitch. Oh, that's great. <laughs> they get their revenge in their mailbox machine. <laughs> and that's it, dude. Yeah, That's, I enjoyed that episode. I thought it was good. You didn't? You weren't a fan? Uh it's it's probably my uh, my least favorite episode. It was the most safe episode. It was the least engaging for me. However, going through this now with you, you helped me see other pieces to it that I didn't see before. Hmm. Yeah, I think every other episode is is a higher quality, and more engaging than this to me. Yeah, I still think the one with the. Uh... The Captain Planet like girl was probably the the least one I liked, but like like you said, there's elements to it which I do like. But if I had to pick an episode I didn't enjoy overall, it was that one. Right. And that, look, we are halfway through the season, believe it or not. Yeah, man, we halfway, brother. Well, actually, we got episode six to watch very soon. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that live, guys. And uh, I guess I'll stop the share. And. Uh, any other comments on life or that episode? Mm, no, I think as you said, there's nothing, there's no like real deep things to get into about with that episode. It's just, I guess it was like good for Jerry's character because it's like, you know, we all know that Jerry's lame. We all know people find it cringe, but they take it to another level this episode. But they also make it that Jerry is aware of it, but he's okay with it because Jerry loves who he is. Like he, Jerry knows he's not the most interesting or funniest person, but he owns up to it, which I think is really good by his character. It just goes to show that, and and then even Beth owns up. Beth's like, I like the lame you, like so. Yeah, it's almost but, like embracing. It's okay to. It's cool to not be cool. It's okay not to be cool. Yeah, exactly. Like if if, if people don't like you or people don't find certain things about you funny, like but that's who you feel you are. Then fuck those people. That's who you are, and that's who Jerry. Is. Dude, right? I, just because you're, just because you're not as smart as other people doesn't make you a like not as good person. You see, I everyone's fucking. I feel like we both interact this within our own unique ways. Like you, man. Like you. Look, look at look at your appearance. Like, if you were intimidated to be like everybody else, you had you felt like you had to be like everybody else. You wouldn't dye your hair pink and silver and grow it long. And just you are so authentically yourself. It's one of my favorite qualities about you. Is you legitimately like you're not. You seem like you don't let the judgments of the world and other people dictate what you're going to say or do. And I love that about you. Hmm. But it wasn't always like that. It's always been, it's been a journey to get to this stage. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just, I just tried, I think you just got to try and be as authentically you as you possibly can. You do a good job at that, man. Like yeah, thank ev you, bro. everything from our silly intros that we've done to, to just, yeah, man, all, all that stuff that we, people you could easily overthink yourself and start overthinking. Oh, should I say that? What's well, that's silly? That's like, nah, man, it's whatever. It's whatever, brother. Yeah, like this, that just you, man. Like, it's beautiful. 
and I think that's that's kind of a moral of this episode is that you if you're the Jerry type, oh that's cool, man. That's fine. Like there's plenty yeah. of people like that. Yeah, and there's plenty of people for every person that doesn't like you, there's one person out there that will like you. So you can't please everybody. You just have to be okay with just trying to be as much as yourself as possible. And people are gonna like it, people aren't gonna like it. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. And that's it, it's man. It's just the way it is. Uh, we're definitely. Whenever Kanye drops Donda, you know we're gonna be on that, a hundred percent. Fucking oath. Yeah, bro. He said he's gonna. Obviously, he's delayed it for a bit longer because he wants to be in better quality. But I've heard on the grape because he did live stream the album that he's done so far, and I heard on the grapevine that it's uh, it's not that good. <sighs> I'm not expecting it to be good. To be like great to be to be honest. Um but I'm still excited. Yeah. After Jesus is King, I'm probably expecting a little bit more of that. Yeah, I've been I've heard that it's like very gospel inspired still. So there's a lot of Jesus, this Jesus that that I've heard of. We'll see, man. We'll be on it regardless. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll be on it, man. Like I got love for Kanye with his journey. Even if I don't like his music, I still love him as a person. What, what whoa, he's achieved. You don't like his music? You like his music? I mean, I mean, like his last album. Yeah, I love oh, his okay, music. okay, cool. Like sometimes I may not like it. Like even though Jesus King is a trash album, it had some good tracks on there. Like two, it had two good tracks on there. So you know what? Music is subjective. Everything that's is opinionated. Hundred so, percent. Well, well not, not everything. Like science, science is science. But <laughs> yeah, but science isn't music. Well, actually, science is music. You know what? Yeah, that's the complexity of it, right? Because that's what you're learning. Yeah. All right, people. Joy Jungle Beats. I'm Alexander Manus and Arts. You can find me on the internet if you type those letters in. You'll find me doing stuff. I didn't even change my name. Thade Gray. You actually it. can't see it unless you hover above it. There yeah, you go. I don't know why. Every time I, every time I, every time I set the name to it, it just you got to go in the back. profile. You got to go in the settings profile. You got to actually go in your profile settings. Heads up for my Zoom people I think out I'll there. Try. Um, yeah, it's I'm outside of the live. Oh shit! But the people don't need to it's see like, this. I I I'll stop recording, guys. Get out of here. Get, get out of here, guys. You can listen. Oh, guess what? All podcast platforms. I'm putting these on all podcast platforms: <laughs> Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. It's your boy Dame Dash coming at you with another super official <laughs> review. Can you dig it, baby? And I know you can. Listen, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that needed to be the intro and outro next time oh yeah i got my um my school shirt oh nice man abbey road represent oh like you want a free shirt i'm like fuck yeah i want a free shirt <laughs> i can't say no to free shit especially when it's warm this is some good quality cotton straight from the fields <laughs>